Which of the following describes the total number of dots in the first n rows of the triangular arrangement below? So let's go see what's going on with these dots first. In the first row, there are two. Second row, if you count all the dots, there are four. So a faster way to see what's going on in this triangular pattern is just to look at the endpoints. Each time, it is increasing by two for each row. So that's just going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. At this point, you might be tempted to choose letter choice B and call it quits because this is the expression that matches the sequence right here. But you got to read the fine print, my friend. This is all about reading it carefully. We're trying to find the expression to match the total number of dots in the first n rows. That is different from counting the number of dots in each row. So in the first row, there are just two dots. The moment you get to the second row, we are counting all the dots here and the previous one. So it's all the dots together. That's going to be six. So instead of counting all these dots and going crazy, you could just look at the numbers right here and that's why I wrote them. All those dots is the same thing as adding two plus four plus six, which equals 12. And then we continue finding the total every time we get to a new row. So add those up and you get 20, adding up all the number of dots by the fifth row. All of these are going to equal 30. So now let's look at our answer choices. A is obviously wrong. It's not asking for the total number of dots. If you look at the sequence right here, finding the difference between each row, two to six is a difference of four. That's a difference of six. That's a difference of eight. And you can kind of see the pattern right there. It's increasing by two each time. That tells you B is wrong because this sequence is not arithmetic, meaning we are not adding the same number after every term. So look for another one that's linear or arithmetic. Looking at letter choice E, if you simplify that, that's going to be 2n plus 2n minus 2, which gets you 4n minus 2. That is also arithmetic, so that's wrong. Now we're choosing between C and D. At this point, I think the easiest route is just to test it out. In the first row, n equals 1. So if I plug that into the expression n squared, which is going to be 1 squared, that's going to equal 1, which contradicts this number right here because that is saying that the total number of dots in the first row is two that means c is wrong meaning by deduction d is going to be the right answer if i simplify that expression that's going to be n squared plus n and you can test it out let's say we test out the third row something random that means n is going to equal three if i test that out that's going to be three squared plus three which equals 12 and if you look at the third row, the total is 12, which matches. Hope that was a good review for you. If it was, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.